<clears throat> Good evening, Jose. How are you? Hi, teacher. All right, so hello, how are you doing, Jose? So how are you doing, Jose? I'm fine, teacher. All right, that's good. Okay. Come on, the light. Ah, yeah, I can hear that. All right. But it's just it, it's just the floor, right? Huh. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Thanks. Hey, sir Manu. So, how are you, sir? Fine. Fine. So, do you still have a lot of things to do at work, hey, Manuel? Were you were were you very busy at work? Like, did you have a lot of a lot of things to do? Okay, I can see. Yes, yes, busy. Okay. A lot of work. All right. Okay. Um. So good evening, Nati. Good evening, Mariana. Hi. Good evening. Yes, give me one. All right, so by any chance, do you have any questions about the platform that I can help you with? Like anybody? Not too sure. All right, so everything good so far, all right. All right, so just keep in mind that, uh, you know, for this week, at least you should complete um, section four in the platform, all right? Because the last, the last day for us to complete the platform will be next Thursday. And next Thursday is November the 9th. And you have until midnight, so that's gonna be the deadline, all right? But well, you know right. this, you know this already, so no problem over here. So just one second. All right, so let me just go ahead and, and, and share the screen with you, okay? So let me just one second over here. All right, so I remember yesterday uh, we were practicing this, uh, so I, um, share this exercise with you the one that says rewrite the indirect questions in the correct word order okay yes, it is and today today we're gonna uh, keep on practicing indirect questions but before we do so uh, let me just show you the word of the day which is this one all right so the word that we have for today is it's the following all right it's off the top of my head, okay? So that's the word that we have, off the top of my head or your head, all right? And this means to say that something is done spontaneously without much thought or consideration as to whether one is correct, to give a quick guess or to estimate something, okay? Like we said in Spanish, a grosso modo, right? Uh, sin pensarlo dos veces, you know, that's the meaning of off the top of my head, okay?
All right, and then we have the usage, which is this one, and then the examples of you. So Nati, would you like to help me please read? Uh, yes. All right. The usage. Please. Idiom is often used to say, I don't know, as in not off the top of my head. And the example of obvious. Not example because... of use. Do you know how much a bus token cost? Ask, ask Jane. Off the top of my head, I think is one fifty-five. says John. Mm -hmm. If you want to on a successful business, you need to know your numbers off the top of your head. Just off the top of my head, I would say there is a 75% chance of success. All right. Yeah, like this one, you see, this is an indirect question, by the way. It says, do you know how much a bus uh, token costs? And then you say off the top of my head, si no estoy mal equivocado o si no mal recuerdo off the top of my head, all right? Or a grosso modo, right? Okay. Or sin pensar, sin pensar demasiado. So that's the meaning, off the top of my head, all right? So I, that's what I can tell you. So off the top of my head, I think um, for this week, you should complete section four. You know, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, you can do more, no problem. You can do less, you know, that's okay as well, all right? So the first exercise for for tonight will be this one, okay? So it's gonna be a listening practice, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna share the uh, the access to this uh, quiz, all right? But first of all, you're gonna listen to the conversation. Number two, you're gonna answer what the conversation is about. And number three, you're gonna write the main idea in your notebook, okay? So, and this is the quiz over there, all right? Let me send the information to you so you can take it individually in your cell phones or maybe in your computer, all right? So just one second. All right, so just one moment over here. Let me just get the information for you. Okay, let me just, one moment. Okay, so what you have to do right now is just to take the quiz, okay? And then you're and then you're gonna practice a conversation in person. So that's the idea over here, okay? So just one moment, please. Let me just one second. And there you go. Could you please tell me if you got the uh, the information in, in the chat, in WhatsApp or whatever? Yes, teacher. All right, so right now, and let me just go back to the screen I was sharing, okay? So what you have to do, if you have the quiz in front of you, as you can see, this uh, quiz is divided in four questions, as you know already, all right? We always practice, we always practice this, in in the same way i would say all right and okay. and um and but let me just share the screen with you again are you able to okay for that one or it was charged or hold on okay so uh, in this screen as you know this screen has uh three options it has the script which is the actual conversation the notes are the grammar explanation and then the quiz which which is this one so right now, uh, play the listening, please. Mute your microphone, and then try to answer the first question, which is the bank is maybe opposite, right, maybe it's left. Number two, what time does the bank open? Maybe at nine or at ten. Is the bank open? Uh, yes or no, or we don't know. Number four, has Mark had breakfast yet? Maybe yes, maybe no, we don't know. Is the reception is polite? Maybe no, yes, or we don't know. All right, so right now, please take this listening, uh, play it, and then send the score in the chat to me, please. All right? 
Are we good? good. All right, so go ahead, please, and, and play the listening. All right. All right, so please go ahead and share the, the uh, quiz the score over here, please. All right, so I just got the first one. So let me just one second over here. Okay, let's see who's this one. Just one second over here. Okay, so the images are loading right now, but I can see that the first one I got is is from uh, Nati, the second one is from Mariana, and then I have uh, Manuel, that's great, sir. And, uh, and I'm gonna mention your names, but I can see, yes, on the first one was a perfect score. These, the other one that I have, uh, let me just verify. All right. All right, so I also have great scores over here. That's nice. And the last one that I got is still from Mariana, I can see here, that's right. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna do something for, 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 for you, okay? Uh, let me play the listening, let me play the listening over here, okay? And and right now what you're gonna uh, do is just to pay attention to the pronunciation of, you know, of conversation one, two, three, and four, all right? So in this class, what, what, you're, gonna, what you're gonna do in this class is to practice your pronunciation and try to improve the pronunciation, the pronunciation in a way, all right? through these conversations and through the other exercises that I have for you, okay? So in the meantime, let me just one sec, come over here. I think it's over here. And uh, yes, that's the one, all right? So I'm gonna play this two times, okay? The, fir the first time is going to be just for, for you to double check the responses that you got.
All right, so let me ask uh, maybe anybody, you know, a volunteer over here. Can anybody just help me just to, to uh, double check the responses over here? Question one, two, three, four, and five. Anybody says, oh, okay, I want to help over here. All right, so who would like to share the, okay, go ahead, Manuel. Thank you. So the bank is? Opposite. Yes, opposite, right? Okay, opposite. what time What time does the bank open? Uh, night. Yeah, it opens up night. Is the bank open now? Yes. Yes, it is. So has Mark uh, had breakfast yet? No. No, right, because he's looking for, for a restaurant over there. Okay, number five, is the reception is polite? Mm, yes. Yeah, and remember that, uh, uh, what's the name of that person over here? Uh, Mark, he's using indirect questions over there, okay? So he's using indirect questions. So right now, your job is to pay attention to the intonation, right? So yesterday, you practiced the grammar and the structure. But right now, your job is to pay close attention to the way a in the equations are pronounced this one all right so pay attention please you see this one do you know what time it opens okay so intonation matters over here uh, at all like this one ken can you tell me when the restaurant stops okay and i think that's the last one yes that's the last one last one over there okay so i'm gonna play the listening and, and right now please Pay attention to the intonation in the indirect questions, all right? Here we go. Excuse me. So you're not able to listen to anything? No. All right, so let me double check it over here. So I don't know what the problem is. Okay, one sec. Uh, good morning. So what about now? Yes. Help if you don't mind. Yes. All right, so let me just rewind this. And say, so pay attention, please, just to the uh, indirect questions pronunciation of that. All right, so that's the idea for, for today. Here we go. Uh, good morning. I need a little help, if you don't mind. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, uh, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change the money. Uh, bank, yes. There is one just across the road, right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Uh, oh, do you know what time it opens? It opens at nine, so it's already open. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Great. I better get across something. Uh, oh, one last thing. Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? I haven't eaten yet. Uh, breakfast stops at 10, but you can still order other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I better get going. All right, so uh, so as you can see, this expression, the one that, that says, I better get going, it, it means uh, mejor... So, mejor me voy, mejor que agarre camino. That's what you say, right? Okay. I better get going, all right? I better get, get going, okay? So, pronunciation over here. Could you tell me where the, could, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? Do you know what time it opens? Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? So, that's the intonation over there, okay? So, right now, uh, before we move forward, so I need you to practice this conversation in person, all right? So uh, let me uh, just make the breaker rooms and right now I'm gonna uh, be placing you in the in purse, all right? So go ahead, please, and practice this conversation. So try to make the right intonation for, for this conversation and for the um, indirect questions, please. Okay. All right, thank you.
the script. All right, so uh, hello, Nati, and, and Hi. this is Chavez over here. So let me just, uh, I don't know, uh, we gotta change a little bit the way we practice the conversations, okay? So uh, from okay. now on, we're gonna try to practice this conversation a little bit more natural, which means that we're not gonna be reading just like this, okay? We're not gonna be just reading. So the <laughs> idea, you know, the idea is, to uh, look up, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. It's like when you give a speech, you know, when you give a speech, you have the speech, but you know it. And you just read maybe the beginning of the sentence and then you just say that the end of, of, of every sentence you have, you know, by memory. Like, like, like this, right? I would say, good morning. I need, a little, I need a little help if you don't mind. So you see, I'm not actually uh, seeing this. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? All right, so, and then I'm looking at you. And then the reception is continue. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark, continue. Well, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? So don't read, please. So try to say it out of your memory, you know, off the top of your head. Okay, off the top of your head. Uh, I need to change uh, some money in that way. So in that way, the information is gonna be, uh, you know, become yours, okay? So you're gonna learn this information. Ah, a bank, yes. There is one across the road, right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Right? So you don't read just like this, right? It opens at night, so it's already open. Thanks. Great. It better, I better get across now. No, no, no. So, so try to do that, please. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. No, yeah, I am Mark, if you... Thank you. For, thank you for that. I didn't get by. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. My way, Alvarez. All right. May, may, let me let me interrupt you, everyone. And you know, I can see that you, uh, Tanya, you're sick. And thank you for being here. Uh, I see that you have the flu. Okay. And also, you know, Jose. Jose is also sick. He said. <laughs> okay. What a big coincidence over there. So right now, we're gonna try to go the extra mile when practicing this conversation. I know Tanya and Jose that you're sick, but right now we're gonna try not to read, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna try to say this conversation off the top of your head, como que fuera de memoria. It's okay, you can read the beginning or just the end of every uh, line, like this. So I'm gonna look at you, uh, Jose, or I'm not gonna look at you, Tanya, like this. So good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind, all right? And then, good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change so many. So the idea, Jose and Tanya, is you got to look up, you know? You got to make eye contact, okay? So that's the idea. And then the receptionist replies, a bank, yes. There is one across the road, right opposite, in fact, anything else? And then Mark replies, do you know what time it opens? But if you go just like this, like, do you know what time it opens? You're going to forget, okay? Remember that we almost finished the intermediate level. And we got to, let's say, improve the way we read and the way we, we pronounce this, okay? Okay. All right, so thank you. I got to, I better get going. Dice. Bueno, podría, podría decirme dónde está el banco más cercano. Nearest uh, es nearest más cercano. Uh, Ajá. Hi, Necesito teacher. cambiar oh. un poco de dinero. De dinero, ok. Ya, ya repasamos dos veces y ahorita lo estamos traduciendo al español para entenderlo también. Yeah, that's ok. Ah, ahí está el tiche. Muy bien, mira. Estamos traduciendo, llega. estamos traduciendo para... Para le, entender le, le, la conversación. Los agarro así, ¿verdad? Mal parados. Sí. <risa> Pero si quieren, lo leemos enfrente de usted. No hay problema. No, 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 no. Este, lo que les iba a decir es lo siguiente. Eh, vamos, uh -huh. a practic vamos a practicar de bien adelante de una forma distinta. O sea, yo sé que ustedes ya practicaron dos veces y lo están traduciendo, lo cual está bien. O sea, no hay ningún problema. Pero uh -huh. vamos a poner en práctica eh, la palabra que les di hoy en la noche, que es off the top of my head. 
¿ok? Uh -huh. Significa que usted lo va a hacer como que si usted lo, lo, lo estuviera diciendo, como si no lo estuviera leyendo, ¿ok? Tampoco les estoy diciendo que se lo memoricen. Es como cuando usted pasaba a la iglesia o, no sé, a dar una presentación, y ahí estaba la información, usted solo volvía a ver y ya lo decía. Lo mismo vamos a hacer ahorita. Entonces, eh, esta conversación quiere que agreguemos esa palabra en alguna... No, no, no. Le estoy diciendo que off the top of my head significa que usted solo, como que usted se pudiera esta información, o sea, como que de su cabeza lo está diciendo. O sea, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, yo le digo, yo le digo, eh, Mariana, le digo, ok, good morning, Manuel. So I need a little help if you don't mind. O sea, yo lo estoy viendo a usted, estoy viendo ese cuadrito chiquito que está ahí. En realidad mm -hmm. no estoy leyendo, o sea, sí y hago el esfuerzo de recordar, ok, y después decirle. Por ejemplo, no es necesario que usted me lea, que usted lea el saludo como Good morning, sir. Eso lo puede decir sin leer. Y de ahí puede decir, How may I help you? So, how may I help you? Ok, la idea es que usted se aprenda frases y se las va a aprender no por repetirlas tanto, sino porque usted lo mira y después lo dice. Well, could ¿Quiere, you que... Excuse me? ¿Quiere que tratemos de hablarlo sin ver? O sea, sí, es como que usted lee la, la Good morning, sir, es lo último lo dice como, aunque sea el you o help you, lo dice viendo a su compañero. Mm -hmm, Ajá, mm -hmm. o sea, para que no dependamos si estemos todo el tiempo, do you know what time it opens? Porque si no, vamos a pasar esta gramática, y vamos a tener muchas oportunidades y, y, y al final no se nos va a quedar lo que estamos diciendo. Sí, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Esa, okay. esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, por, en, en esta frase grande que dice Mark, que dice, thanks, great, I better get across now then, ahí obviamente usted va a leer el, lo primero y decirlo como, antes del punto, levanta la mirada y ya continúa hablando. Like, thanks, great, I better get across now then. One last thing, all right? Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? I haven't eaten yet, all right? Y no porque soy profesor o porque he practicado o porque quizás hace un poquito más de inglés, sino que esto es un esfuerzo que usted hace, ¿ok? Para que nos acostumbremos, ¿ok? Eh, y, y solamente es práctica, ¿all right? Entonces, so one or two more minutes, try to do it like, just like this. Vamos a ocupar esta frase que dice aquí, I better get going, que significa mejor me voy <laughs> o debería irme. <laughs> All right, to visit... Yes, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two more minutes, okay? Okay. Sí, para que no se sientan presionados. Nah, salud. Después regreso a ti, Cognito. All right, so Mr. Edwin Garcia, you, I mean, you just, just joined the class, did you? Edwin? Uh, Mr. Garcia. Yes. 
All right, so not a problem. What we are doing is practicing these, you know, this conversation, all right? Okay. But, you know, uh, tonight there's something different about this conversation, okay? And the point is that we got to practice this uh, conversation uh, very fluently, o sea, con mucha fluidez, and very naturally, okay? So that's the idea. So right now I'm going to ask, uh, let's see, one volunteer who is going to be Mark. It could be a gentleman or it could be a lady, All right? Doesn't really matter. All right, so who would like to help me be Mark? Uh, me, teacher. All right, thank you. And who wants to be the, the receptionist over here? Somebody says me over here, please. <laughs> yes, hi. Okay, Edwin. All right, thank you, Edwin. So, uh, but the idea right now, uh, Manuele and Edwin, is to say this and try to not. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> y ver a otro lado. <laughs> sí, o sea, no sé, cierre los ojos o. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apague la luz, no sé. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Yeah. Pero, pero la idea es, you start like just like this. So, good morning. O sea, I'm reading, yo estoy leyendo. Good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind. Por lo menos lo último, las últimas dos palabras, o sea, no lea, sino que trate mm -hmm. de, de mirar la pantallita de enfrente. ¿Ok? Ok. So, we're going we're gonna to try to do that, please, Edwin, and also uh, Manuel. So, go ahead, please, Manuel. Ok, good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind. Good morning, Shane. How may I help you? Uh huh. Well, Manuel. Oh, per 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 me, perdón, tenía cerrados los ojos. Okay. <laughs> Lo toma muy en serio. Okay. <laughs> sí, pues sí. Well, <laughs> well, could you tell me where the new new is? But is I need to change some money. Nice, nice. All right. A bank? A bank? Yes. There is one just across the road. Right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Do you know what time is open? It open? Mm -hmm. It's open at nine. So it's already open. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Y me duermo siempre. <laughs> Tengo cerrado los ojos. Yo. <laughs> Saying, great, I better get across uh, now, no, no. then. Oh, one last thing. Last thing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? I have an 18 jet. Mm -hmm. 18 jet. Mm, breakfast. It's not a 10, but. You can still order other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I bet in get going. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Yes. Thank All right, you, so, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Los saludos, you know, greetings, at least we should learn them, you know, by heart, you know, the memoria. We should learn this by heart. Like, have a good day, sir. All right. And, uh, I'm oh, sorry, you know, so how may I help you? You know, questions just mm -hmm. like that, right? So yeah. how may I help you? Do you know what time it opens? O sea, um, esas preguntas y esas frasecitas tenemos que aprendernos. Right? De, de hecho, bueno, voy a hablar en español porque no me cuesta. De hecho, es, es una buena práctica. Yo no lo había hecho, ahorita lo hice. Y sí, sí como que el, nos, nos obliga a pensar un poquito más qué es lo que queremos decir. Sí, lo, ayuda a la retención mucho, ayuda a la retención bastante, créanme. Y, y como acuerdes, esto va por niveles. So, esta es información que ustedes ya conocen la gramática, ya conocen el vocabulario. Hay palabritas que se nos escapan, pero si entendemos la idea principal, usted ahí va. Usted ahí va. Usted sabe que es un resection y si está este fulanito que no, va a ir al banco, va a ir a hacer otro, va, no ha desayunado, un montón de cosas que le pasan. All right. So you know this. Already. If you know the context, the rest is, is easier for you. Por eso les decía, off the top of your head. Así como, a grosso modo, lo va diciendo. Off the top of your head. So that's the idea. Now let's continue over here. Uh, you know, this 
conversation, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated. All right. But I think you're gonna enjoy this. O sea, van a disfrutar esta conversación. Okay. You're gonna enjoy this conversation. Let me just one second over here. Uh, just take this away. Yes. This is another listening. Okay. And the name is Acting School and Movie Starts. ¿Verdad? Y preparémonos. Pre-listening exercise. It says, what kinds of questions do people ask when they meet other, other people for the first time? For example, they might ask, podrían preguntar si, si la primera vez que lo conocen. They, they could ask about their jobs and, uh, before their names examples. O sea, si usted no conoce algo, ¿dónde trabajas? ¿Dónde trabaja usted? ¿Dónde vive? Things like that, right? So, where do you work? All right? And... In the, in the conversation, o sea, en la conversación que van a ver, you're going to see this vocabulary, okay? You're going to see a start off. A start off es una forma informal de decir begin, okay? Basic, algo básico, all right? Basic, all right? Basic, It's, it means simple or easy. Originally, 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 at first or in the beginning. Como originalmente, just like, like it sounds over there. Gotta go. Like I can tell you. Okay. Bye bye, gentlemen. I gotta go or gotta go. Me tengo que ir. All right. Or I better get going. It means the same thing. You know, gotta go. Es la forma informal de decir, I have to go. Me tengo que ir. Gotta go. Honey is like to say, darling, como mi amor, eh, querido, querida. You know, honey. This one. All right. And this is these are this is the vocabulary that is going to appear in that conversation. All right. So we're sharing this conversation, this vocabulary with you. Now to continue with, you have this. Okay. And in this case, it's, it's a listening. Uh, and you're gonna see, o sea, va a estar el entrevistado y el entrevistador. All right. So the interviewer and the interviewee. Okay. And in this case, el entrevistador va Hacerle preguntas. So he's going to ask questions to an actress. All right. An actress. Okay. And the first question is, what's the name of the actress? Maybe it's Sarah Reynolds, Sarah Rogers, or Sarah Roberts. Okay. Question number two, where is she from? Maybe she was born in New York. Or maybe she's from Miami or she comes from Los Angeles. Okay. And question number three. Where did she work part-time while she was going to school? Okay, ¿dónde trabajó medio tiempo? Cuando estaba yendo a la universidad, por así decirlo. At a supermarket, at a movie theater, or at a restaurant. Okay, and how old is the actress? Está bien cipota, right? It's 22, or maybe 24, or maybe 20. All right? And the last one, what is the woman's hobby? O sea, la misma actriz, what is the hobby? Okay, what is her hobby? Maybe it's reading, maybe it's cooking, or maybe it's shopping, all right? Entonces, le voy a mandar el acceso a esto. And just to let you know, this one is, I would say, a little bit more difficult than the previous one, okay? ¿Por qué? Porque esta es una conversación real. Lo anterior era como para que nosotros empezáramos como a calentar. But this is a real conversation over there. Okay, so but I think you're going to complete and get the a perfect score or at least four out of five. Okay, just one second over here. Lo ideal, perdone que les hable en español. Lo ideal es que mientras usted vaya escuchando, marque con su con su uh, celular, solo dele, márquelo o con su computadora dele click, verdad? Click. Digamos que usted piensa, está escuchando y dice que será Reynolds de una sola vez. Where is she from? De una sola vez, aunque no esté seguro. And you continue at a, at a supermarket. Okay, you just click over there. How old is the actress? Y usted escuchó 24, aunque no sea 24, pero usted lo marca. All right, just like that. All right, and then you continue. What is the woman's uh, hobby? Maybe they say cooking, and you just mark it over there. Okay. So, so try to do it just like that. So don't wait too much, you know, to complete this. Trust me, créanme, funciona mucho. Si usted eh, eh, de una sola vez escucha y lo hace de forma simultánea. You know, you do it like simultaneously. You know, that's the word, simultaneously or at the same time. So, um, 
let me send the the quiz to you right now and then you're gonna take the quiz and as you always do please share the score with me y si usted se sacó uno de cinco dos de cinco tres de cinco no se preocupe usted mándelo ok igual no es obligación pero no sirve para you know as a self-assessment como una autoevaluación ok I'm just double checking. Yes, I got it. Here we go. Y ustedes me van a decir y van a comparar el listening este con el anterior. All right. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to compare that. So I just sent it to you right now. All right. So uh, let me ask. Uh, so Tania, is, is he working over here? So no. try to open. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. It says it's not working more. I don't know why. All right, maybe I didn't copy something. Good. Let me try it the second time over. Yeah, the second one is working, as you can see. Are you able to open it now? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So, and uh, as you can see, is exactly the same information that i sent to you exactly so you have the five questions over there so right now please concentrate uh, play it take the quiz get a screenshot and then send that screenshot with the score to me all right please i can open the link i cannot uh, open the link you cannot open it no 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 teacher okay that's weird okay you know it was working for me but but let's see okay i'm gonna try it again okay all right can you try with the last one i sent you know with that material sorry about that yeah, all right, la tercera es la vencida, the, the yeah. last show. <laughs> All right, so get to work, please. Okay. Hello, this is James Goodfellow from mm -hmm. Channel 4 News. Today, we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, star of the new movie, Zombies on Mars, Part 4.
All right, so I got the first two scores, you know, right now. So thank you. Just one moment over here. Okay. All right, so let's see, uh, you know, which ones I got over here. Right. Nice, I see that some of you are getting five out of five, which is great. And then five out of five also here, nice. Okay, and then the so most of the answers are correct over here, which is which is nice. Okay. That's great. All right. So now just uh, let's see, I'm gonna choose, let's see, Nati, would you like to help us with the with the answers, please, with the responses? You know, one, two, three, four, five. Please. Okay, teacher. If you remember, right. So thank you. What's the name of the actress? The name of the actress is Tara Roberts. Okay, so it's the last one over here. So, all right, so where is she from? She's from Miami. All right, so she's from Miami. Okay. What about, where did she work part-time while she was going to school? At a movie theater. At a movie theater, right, yes. Okay, and how old is the actress now? Okay. 22. She's 22, right? Or 22. Okay, thank you. And what about, uh, what's the woman's hobby? Shopping. Is it shopping? Yeah, I yes. think it's, yeah, I think it's yes. also shopping. Do you think, do you think that this actress is famous or not? <laughs> is she famous? Yes. Are you really famous? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, she's famous, but I, I, I don't think she's very famous. But she's very, uh, how can I say this? A, um, uh, she has a very high self-esteem. O sea, tiene una, una, una autoestima muy alta, right? So she's, she has a high self-esteem, you know? High self-esteem. All right, she has a high self esteem. All right, nice. Now, uh, I'm gonna open the rooms again, and in this opportunity, you're going to practice this conversation. But uh, before I send you to practice, do you have any questions about the pronunciation of, of any word over here? Yeah, my question to you is, uh, do you need help with some words right here? Uh, attended? Yeah, just like that, yes, attended. And what is it, by the way? I don't remember. Uh, the last part? Uh, down, more down. Right, but this is, you know, this is actually the end of the conversation, you see? So that's the end. Uh, when say Sara, I attend Fernandez School acting. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I attended. It's like I went to or, or I studied, you know, I attended, right? Oh, attended. Okay. Yeah, it's like I went to or I studied at Fernando's School. You can say I went to. Okay. Thank you. Yes, it's attended. Any and anything else? All right. So if all right. So if you don't have any other more questions, so let me just go ahead and, and open the breaker room so you can practice in person. So try to try to apply what you just learned, please. O sea, no leamos solamente. You know, you have to interact. 
with your classmates. So interact, please, with your classmates. Make eye contact or like turn off the lights. I don't know, but do not just read, please. Aunque sea las últimas dos palabras de cada oración o de cada línea, la tienen que decir sin leer, por favor. Right, that's the idea. Please. All right, so just one second. Let me open the, the rooms up again over here. Here we go. Nice, the rooms are open. Manuel with Mariana, Edwin with Tania, Ariana, Adriana with Jose, and Jocelyn with Nati. Okay. As, as always, I'm gonna be visiting you. I'm gonna be visiting the rooms over here. Okay. Teacher, where is the dial though? Ah, all right. Uh, it's on the same page, but I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send. It's on the same uh, uh, part, but let, let me send it to you. All right. Let me send it to you. So. Okay. So just one second over here. All right. So the script. I'm sending it right now. All right. So just one second. Falta más. Yes. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. okay. And how old are you now? No tengo la otra parte. <laughs> no sé qué sigue. Ah, ahorita entró Stitch. Yes. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> uh, will I Will I only 20? But everyone I know say I look I look at least twenty two. All right, okay. And what are you doing outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup. Um, um, did I say I love shopping for clothes? Well, you did say clothes. Oh yeah, well do well do you want to take some pictures of me? You know for your homepage or your blog and you can even even use team of 
on your Facebook fan page. Fan page. Oh, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> no, thanks, right? <Ray>. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, um, uh, look up or look up of all of my fans. Hey, gonna go, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she thinks she's very important, but she's not, right? You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, that's what I that's what I said to you. This conversation it's it's a little bit longer and a little bit more difficult, don't you think so? Mm -hmm. it's so yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. But I think you're ready for this as well. Okay. Okay. So since you okay. finished this, uh let's go back to the main session, all right? Okay, teacher. All right, so I'm gonna close the breaker rooms for you. Okay. All right. All right, so Nati, don't, don't you think that uh, asking the questions is easier than being the, than being Sara? So the news reporter just asks question, right? Yes, so, it, it is easier. <laughs> yeah, it's easier, yes, I can see that. Nice. Okay, so I see most of you over here, okay? So just to finish with this, and this is gonna be the last, the last thing for, for today, Okay, let me just uh, be the news reporter and I need a Sara over here. And, uh, and let's see who's gonna be over here. Adriana, all right. So can you help me please? You're gonna be Sara and I'm gonna be the news reporter. Okay. Yeah, I cannot hear you right now, Adriana. Adriana, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so thank you. Here we go. Hello, uh, this is this is James Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. Today we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie Zombies, Zombies on Marks, part four. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Hey, you're welcome, Jimmy. Um, is James? James, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> that's the way it is. Okay, whatever, you have to say whatever. <laughs> Event. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Adriana, you're a really great actress because. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. Uh, first of all, where are you from? Uh, well, I am originally originally from Miami, but will move to New York when I was three years old. Three years old, mm -hmm. I lived there. Uni was seventeen, mm -hmm. and they I uh, moved to Los Angeles to be a uh, actress. To be an actress. One more thing. <laughs> Cuando sus compañeros esté hablando, también puede hacer la práctica de cómo poner la atención a lo que dice sin leer. Or that's a, that's another great practice. Just listen, please. Don't don't read over there. I mean, I'm speaking to everyone, not only to you. Okay. And where did you go to college? Yeah. Uh -huh. I attended. I attended Fernando's uh, a school of artery. Mm -hmm. And all of my teachers loved my <laughs> artery. <laughs> and, and, and did you have a part time job? The while, okay. And did you have a part time job while, while you were in school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. I worked. I attended. No, I worked. I work. Ah, yes. Yeah, I worked. I worked at movie dairy. Uh, I don't know who to pronounce. Theater. Uh, Theater. Theater. Oh, okay. Uh, any anyone lover lover the way I mail the. Score. Pork corn, right? All right. Thank you so much. But right now, everyone, we're going to stop, we'll stop over here. Just remember, when you practice, listen to your classmate. 
listen to the voice, right? And then just try to uh, read, not everything, okay? And that's, I think that's the lesson for, for tonight, all right? So that's the lesson I wanna teach you tonight. So hope to see you tomorrow. And tomorrow we're gonna be practicing some exercises out of the platform mm -hmm. and some more conversations. And I'm gonna be, exp I'm gonna be explaining to you and we'll explain the difference between the, the present perfect versus the simple mm -hmm. past. There are some exercises over there just like this and listening over there. So have a, have a great night, everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, tengo una question. Yes, go ahead. Este, con respecto a las, a las actividades que tenemos en la plataforma, yo he hecho hasta la sección 3, no me ha quedado tiempo de hacer las demás, pero a mí me marca ahí que cuando veo el video, o sea, no me marca que he visto el video, no sé si aparece ahí que es incompleto o solo a mí es que me aparece así. Se dice que lo, los que son solamente para repasar contenido, en realidad no le cuentan para pasar si quiere contar, el nivel. Se da cuando, cuando no termina de ver el video hasta el final. Ajá. Yo, yo, Ajá. A mí me pasa a veces así, pero, pero a veces no le corta. En realidad no le va a afectar, o sea, no es que se va a quedar si no lo termina de ver. Lo que cuenta son los knowledge check, eh, los midterm y el final exam. Eso cuenta un montón. Y si usted tiene 80% en todo, aunque no haya completado lo demás, no hay nada. Perdón, se me había ido el link. Perdón, ¿sí? Ah, está bien. <risa> Esa era sí. mi pregunta, que no sé si... Fíjense que lo, lo que cuenta, como decía Manuel, a veces es que si no termina de ver el video, eso pasa. Pero lo que usted tiene que ponerle atención es al midterm, al final exam y a los knowledge check. Si usted tiene el 80%, ah, okay. el 80 de resultado en el knowledge check, en el mixture mercedes, en el final exam, ya pasó el nivel, ya pasó el módulo. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Ah, pues sí. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Right. You're very welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everyone.